Hi, welcome back to tip number six of Task Sequence Tips. Uh, we had a short break for the holiday, but now we are back and we've got a couple tips left to go. Today's tip, we are talking about static IP addresses. Do you have any networks that don't have DHCP on them and uh, you have to boot into WinPE and set up your static IP and then once in Windows, add your static IP? Uh, well, I've had to deal with this recently, so I came up with a, a pretty simple method for uh, grabbing the IP addresses that you set inside of WinPE and then just applying that to your actual operating system. So in WinPE, there's the configure networking settings. And then so you go in and set your uh, information for this computer. And then we're going to go ahead and click next and start off our test sequence. All right, and now thanks to snapshots, we can uh, forward. This is the front end that I have on our task sequence. It shows the IP information, which was populated directly out of that form that we saw earlier. And then I can go ahead and click finish and it will then continue on with the task sequence. So now we're gonna uh, just snap ahead to the finished product. Okay, so now uh, we snapshotted to the final product. This is now in the full OS. All those settings that we apply during WinPE have now applied to the actual operating system uh, because of the variables that were populated. Now, uh, some of those variables that we're t talking about are actually uh, the OS adapter and OS uh, adapter count. Uh, these variables are the ones that are needing to be set for this to actual work. And part of that, uh, there's actually several variables that you need to set beforehand. Not all of them, but there's a, a minor subset that you have to have created uh, for this to actually work. If you only create a couple, it, it will not work. But it's all been uh, very well documented. And all of these uh, links are in the blog post as well. Uh, as well as uh, the script that I'm using in the task sequence, uh, which I will just show you in a moment. Uh, but I did want to highlight a recent blog post out, by, out in uh, TC Smug by Jeff Carrion. He wrote up a nice way to do teaming. So you'd have several NICs on the server and you can then team them into one IP address. And so the point of this is that you can import a record into Configuration Manager, set up all this information on the record through uh, machine variables, and then during the task sequence, this will get pulled in. You'd still need to, if you don't have DHCP, you'd still have to manually put in an IP for WinPE, but this would then populate into the task sequence. But for how I'm doing it with just populating and pulling information from WinPE, I have a step that uh, runs right before I run my my front end, which then goes out and takes a look at the, it basically looks at your your networking adapter stack and looks at the IP information and grabs that and then populates them into the variables that you need for the task sequence. So that's how I'm doing it. All this is out on the blog and I hope this helps. Thanks very much. And we look forward to seeing you for the next tip.